Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to a lecture on superficial peritoneal pouch and this is one of the most difficult topics in the pelvic region also related to the other parts of the anatomy it is the hard topic so be careful during the read reading of the superficial perineal pouch so first of all we have to know the perineal pouch which is superficial so here in this picture this is one of the picture and this picture we can see this structure and this is the urogenital diaphragm so first of all we have to see this structure this structure is very 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 important this is the urogenital diaphragm so first of all we have to read or memorize or remember this structure this is the urogenital diaphragm and this urogenital diaphragm is the main point to differentiate between the superficial perineal pouch and deep perineal pouch here we can see anterior to the urogenital diaphragm there is a pouch and this pouch is the superficial perineal pouch here we can see this is the superficial perineal pouch here this is boundary of the superficial perineal pouch so first of all location of the superficial perineal pouch is very very important and only on uh, what's here important this is the urogenital diaphragm so superficial perineal pouch it lies anterior to the urogenital diaphragm and all the part of the urogenital diaphragm is the perineal membrane actually here is the structure which is the perineal membrane so anterior to the urogenital diaphragm or anterior to the perineal membrane the pouch present which is superficial perineal pouch on the other hand there is another structure which is located just behind the urogenital diaphragm or just behind the perineal membrane and this space actually this is the deep perineal space this space is the deep perineal space because anterior to the urogenital diaphragm superficial perineal pouch posterior to the urogenital diaphragm there is the deep perineal pouch so here this is location this phase is very 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 important and it is the extremely important to realize the superficial perineal pouch and deep perineal pouch actually this is the location and this is the superficial or anterior to the urogenital diaphragm or perineal membrane lies the superficial perineal pouch so anterior to the urogenital diaphragm there is superficial perineal pouch so we can see this is the pelvic cavity and this pelvic cavity is seen from the above and here we can see different type of the structure one of the structure here this is the urogenital diaphragm in this area we can see this area this is the urogenital diaphragm or perineal membrane why this is urogenital diaphragm because through it uh, because we know first of all the diaphragm diaphragm is a partition which is who is present apparatus here we can see this is the diaphragm a diaphragm and which contains two orifice and here one is the hiatus of urethra that means the urinary system and another one here this is the hiatus for penis which is part of the genital system so total this is called the urogenital diaphragm or perineal membrane and the structure which is located anterior to this membrane that means outside here anterior this is the superficial perineal pouch and structure which is located just behind this perineal membrane or urogenital diaphragm it is the deep perineal pouch so it is now clear that the deep perineal pouch is located in the pelvic cavity on the other hand the superficial perineal pouch it lies anterior to this pelvic cavity so here we can see the structure and in this picture it is more more clear that this reddish structure it is the perineal membrane or urogenital diaphragm because through it 
the urinary system and genital system tract passed so this perineal membrane is the boundary between the superficial and deep perineal pouch so anterior to it is superficial perineal pouch so here from this portion this portion is the superficial perineal pouch so the content which is located in the superficial content superficial to the perineal member this is the content of the superficial perineal pouch so it is one of the hard structure and um, by watching this photo or image we have to realize all the structure which is located superficial perineal pouch so now in this picture this is another picture it, in case of female we can see this is the this white structure we can see this is the a white structure and this white structure is the perineal membrane or urogenital diaphragm because we can see here also this is the tract of urinary system and this is the tract of the genital system and it passed through it and here we can see a white structure present here here the white structure and this is the urinal membrane or urogenital diaphragm and anterior to it just like this or this so this space this is the superficial perineal pouch in case of female so here this is the another picture and in this picture we can see superficial perineal pouch it is uh, marked by the yellow line and here we can see the yellow structure here here and this is the superficial perineal pouch and we can see a structure the red structure here like a thread red structure and this is the perineal membrane or urogenital diaphragm so in this picture it is now clear then we can see this is the content of the superficial perineal pouch and we saw that the superficial perineal pouch it lies anterior to the perineal membrane or urogenital diaphragm and it is located outside the pelvis so the male urinary and genital system all are the parts of the superficial perineal pouch and here location as the location is very very important so again and again this line is shown to you that it is the superficial to the urogenital diaphragm or the perineal membrane and in case of male we can see the contents the contents first of all bulb of the penis and cruda of the penis because we know the bulb of the penis is just anterior to hit this part is the bulb of the penis so bulb and cruda of the penis first of all then superficial transverse perineal muscle then posterior scrotal arteries and posterior scrotal nerve so in case of male they are the main structure of the superficial perineal pouch some other structure uh, present but they usually not more important this five four or five structure is very very important content in case of male in this superficial perineal pouch bulb of the penis and crude of the penis superficial transverse perineal muscle posterior scrotal arteries and posterior scrotal nerve now see the structure in the picture first of all here we can see this part first of this white structure you can see this white structure this white structure is the perineal membrane so anterior to the perineal member here this is the bulb of the urethra and here the crura of the urethra so on either side there is crura and midline it is the bulb and here we can see this area this is the bulb area and crura area and the white structure we can see this is the white structure and this white structure is the perineal membrane or urogenital diaphragm here this is more clear that the this part this white part we can see here this white part this is the perineal membrane here we can see this is the perineal membrane and anterior to the perineal membrane here we can see this is the bulb of the penis and either either side of the bulb there is the crush 
of the penis or crura of the penis so bulb of the penis and crura of the penis they are lies just anterior to the perineal membrane then we can see here this is the transverse perineal nerve perineal muscle and these muscles are lies anterior to the urogenital diaphragm because here we can see the part of the white structure here and this white structure actually this is the perineal membrane and the transverse perineal muscle superficial group they lies anterior to this perineal membrane so transverse perineal muscle they also the content of the superficial perineal pouch then we can see some other blood vessel which uh, uh, with the shaft of the penis they travel such as this vessels and nerve they travel with the penis and this vessels and nerve they also the content of the superficial perineal pouch and here we can see the structure name and the posterior scrotal arteries and posterior scrotal nerve and the posterior scrotal artery and nerve they are arising from the pudental nerve and internal pudental artery so here we can see this is the content so i think it is now very very clear to you the content of the superficial perineal pouch and the boundary or location of the superficial perineal pouch and in case of female posterior labial artery is the main content and some other structure also present such as the bartholin gland and other glands uh, let's see in the picture so in female most important point is the posterior labial artery is located here and some other structure also present that will be discussed in the picture so here in case of female we can see here this is the perineal membrane and we can see the structure here they are the content of the superficial perineal pouch in case of female here we can see the greater vestibular gland the greater vestibular gland they are the content of the superficial perineal pouch then we can see the superior uh, posterior labial nerve and vessel so this content is very very important the the posterior labial nerve and vessel they are located in the superficial pouch then we can see the greater vestibular gland this greater vestibular gland is also located into the superficial perineal pouch and we can see some other structures such as the bulbo sponges ischio cavernous muscle so they are not much more important actually the posterior labial nerve and vessel they are the most important than the greater vestibular gland so in this picture we can see this white structure actually this is the perineal membrane and anterior to the white structure this is the superficial perineal pouch and here we can see the dorsal nerve of the clitoris posterior labial nerve and posterior labial vessels they are also present in this area so they are the content of the superficial perineal pouch so here it is more more clear that this white structure this white structure this is the perineal membrane here we can see this is the perineal membrane and anterior to the perineal membrane we can see the different structure such as this vessel posterior labial vessels and nerve then we can see a large very large gland here and this gland is the we can saw in this picture this is the greater vestibular gland so greater vestibular gland it also located into the superficial perineal pouch and we can see some other such as the dorsal artery of the clitoris deep artery of the clitoris and at the uh, posterior labial artery so they are the content on the superficial perineal pouch in case of female so finally this is the final picture or final quiz in short of the superficial perineal pouch first of all location it lies anterior or superior to the urogenital diaphragm in case of male it contains bulb and crude of the penis, superficial transverse perineal muscle, posterior scrotal artery and posterior scrotal nerve and in case of female posterior labial arteries, greater vestibular gland and some other arteries and nerve also present in this area. So this is in short about the superficial perineal pouch. In next uh, day we will discuss about the deep perineal pouch and this perineal pouch actually very very hard to realize but only one point is enough to realize this and this is the 
urogenital diaphragm or perineal membrane so first of all uh, in case of reading the perineal pouch you have to remember urogenital diaphragm and perineal membrane because here urogenital diaphragm and urogenital diaphragm or perineal membrane this is the main structure it will help you a lot to read the superficial perineal pouch and deep perineal pouch and for crack the these difficult topics to realize very completely you have to go through books and repeat the lecture so thank you all be happy thank you